Alright, so how this entire story came about is unlike anything we've ever really done before, so hang tight. We'd met a couple in a nightclub in Bangkok a few days earlier who had said yes to coming to our rooftop pool party. And when a stranger says yes to any of our crazy requests, we pretty much instantly become friends. Now, at our event, Peter and Jill explained to us that they recently got engaged, but are uncertain about whether they'll be able to go on a proper honeymoon or not because of timing issues. So that gave us some ideas. To thank them for saying yes and to celebrate their marriage, we thought, what if we surprised them with a spontaneous trip to an island across the country they've never been to before? They had no idea that we we had planned any of this and the night before leaving we went to their hotel to see if they'd be open to another spontaneous yes oh, here they are <laughs> what up hey thanks for coming to thank you Nate. you guys were the first people to say yes to coming to that party we both had like this open energy night so we thought why don't we kidnap these guys for 48 hours and kidnap in our dictionary is for you guys to give us control over your day without asking any questions about what we would do or where we're going we're gonna fly somewhere yeah, no questions asked. I promise you, Wait, where is it? I promise you, I <laughs> like, no questions asked. I don't know, I think we're pretty down. I think we're down. Right? I, I think, think we said, and I, I can, I, oh, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> why, why, are you, why are you kidnapping people? We showed up. Yeah, we showed up. <laughs> Did you plan this before you came to Bangkok? No. <laughs> so you just saw us and you're like, yeah, like ah, let's kidnap these guys. Thank you so much. Thanks. Never seen people kidnap more excited. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Third wheeling, back at it again. <laughs> There's all these empty seats in the plane, but I'm sitting right here. <laughs> We have, we have a good party going on this weekend. It should be fun, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. This is actually a perfect beach, you guys. We're now gonna go to your room. I'm feeling nervous and I don't know why I feel nervous. Oh boy. Alright. Oh gosh. Uh, Welcome. Oh, You know you want a third wheel. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so Matt and I joined the bar last night and we're gonna be surprising them all day today with a little pre-wedding wow. yeah. treat. So basically we're gonna take these guys through the yes theory pre-wedding camp. Let's start things off. We actually have a beach oil massage. Oh guys. my god! Don't <laughs> get too excited. We just want you to be in a very comfortable setting because we're gonna ask you very uncomfortable questions. Wow. So I'm ready. <laughs> Peter, we're getting a couple massage. First couple massage ever. Uh, a young couple in love. What a beautiful thing. Now, on one side there's comfort, but on the other side of marriage, there's a lot of discomfort. So we want to get you guys ready for that other side. But what do I know about marriage? Absolutely nothing. I've been in one relationship my whole life, and it didn't last very long at all. We're going to take you through three different challenges. Let's begin with the honesty. Okay, so number one, you guys met on Tinder. So were you guys there for a relationship or were you there for a hookup? Oh, a bit of both. Ah. <laughs> Alright, how about you Jill? Uh, I was definitely looking for a relationship. And what were your first thoughts about each other? Uh, well, she was like two and a half hours late and spent the first ten minutes on Instagram while I was trying to talk to her. So it wasn't a great first impression, but then she was pretty hilarious, so. I admit it, I was terrible. What has been your favorite feature in the other and the feature you find most annoying? Oh, that's a good 
good one. And what really drew me to him, what I found very attractive, is he's a very ambitious person. His worst trait, I would say, okay, I know it. He can be a bit neurotic. Like, he micromanages if he's really tired. All right, Peter, hit us. Her best feature is that she's super understanding, reasonable, and kind. <laughs> Alright, worse. Let's let's get to the worst. stuff. I might need a bit longer. What do you think I think is the worst? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> That's not how the game is played. I mean, you're getting better, but sometimes a bit scatterbrained. If we can, we agree that we're gonna meet at a time and a place. Half the time you're still asleep or <laughs> forgotten. You're, so, you're, you're careful with every word. <laughs> That's the secret. Yeah, <laughs> you guys have completed the first task of the day, and after your massage, Thomas and Tipton will take you to the next one. Flexibility. Didn't see me having that tray, did you? Today's class is all about flexibility in a relationship, and I'm definitely a guy for it. I've never been in a relationship that lasted more than three months. The key in any relationship is not only to give yourself the flexibility to grow together, to grow individually and nurture each other's passions. Love each other, do anything you want. Not sure if it's the best advice since I've never been in a successful relationship. Don't trust anyone. Don't trust anyone. Well, let me tell you about flexibility. I've been married to three men for three years making videos and they stretch you in all kinds of ways you were never expecting. <laughs> I can do a split. What would you say about each other? That you're flexible. Not physically, because no one can beat me. <laughs> I think we're very flexible, actually. <laughs> it is so beautiful. Wow, I think that's I something. <laughs> I, le I learned a lot about <laughs> flexibility in a relationship. <laughs> we'll never be happy. What did you guys actually think of this kind of crappy advice? I think we learned what not to do. <laughs> Welcome. Sit, please. I'm Yes Theory's editor. And editing, I've learned, is a lot like marriage. It's extremely nerve-wracking. One thing I've learned from editing is patience. Say I'm editing for four hours, and I think it's awesome, and I finally watch it back, and I see that it's not as funny as I thought it was. Do you smash the computer and quit everything and delete all the videos on the channel? Take a breath, start from scratch, and you slowly go through it. Jill, at the wedding, there's a floral decoration, and you had it in your mind since you were seven years old, exactly how you wanted it, and you look at it, and it's not at all the way you thought. Do you tear up the flowers from the garden, go to the nearest gardener, shove it down his throat, and kick him into the nearest pond? No. What you do is calmly walk back to your room, and you scream into a pillow. So Peter, at a wedding, expect things to go wrong. Everything could go wrong, could be a massive fire, but if Jill's freaking out, you gotta be there for her. Just the way you're gonna be there for her for the rest of your life. Whoa. Patience, focus, will keep you sane. And a happy marriage, and a happy life, you know? Thank you. I had a brilliant idea. All right, so I think you should re-propose tonight since he told us his proposal story and it's freaking hilarious. Pretty much everything went terribly wrong. Basically, in a nutshell, he proposed in a jet ski. He hit her with his shoulder. She was bleeding when he asked her to marry him, so. We think we could give him another chance at re-proposing in front of a big crowd for you to actually like, say yes to that fear. <laughs> what do you think? I would absolutely love that. I'm gonna choke again. <laughs> no one will know that you're re-proposing. To people, this is the first time you're doing it. So you're gonna go on your knees. Oh my God, dude. Yes. Oh, yes. Look at that. He's, he's jittery. <laughs> he's like, I should never have said yes to this trip. <laughs> This is not my speech to give. This is my very best friend Peter's speech to give. He would like to let you all know something very special, Peter. So since this didn't really go well the first time, I wanted to give it a better shot. Jillian, we're not the most obvious couple. I'm not the best looking. I'm not super wealthy. I'm actually pretty socially awkward. But um, I think we share a fantastic bond. It's a bond that comes through realizing that we're not perfect, but you help me become a more perfect person every day. And it's a bond that we have grown, not taking ourselves too seriously and an example of this is you know we're in an amazing place with amazing people that we just met you're the greatest person i know the most beautiful person i know Oh, you look
This was truly a memorable time for us as much as it was for Peter and Jill. We got to learn a lot about what it takes to build a strong and sustainable relationship. Obviously, as we gave them some of the best relationship advice they've ever heard. I'll never be happy. <laughs> All jokes aside though, one specific lesson I was reminded of on this trip is that the key to any fruitful relationship or friendship is to always be invested in the other person's growth. Also, three years ago today, Amar, Matt and I uploaded the very first video we've ever made together. So happy three years to the best partners in crime I could have ever asked for. All right, off to Matt. What is going on guys? Thank you so much for watching this video. I know this looks weird, but we are currently in our hotel room in Budapest right now. I'm with TV. What's going on? We have been traveling a lot. We came from Thailand to Europe and it's been pretty intense. And because we've been traveling so much and moving around so much, it's been so freaking hard to find time to do what I love the most, which is read. So I, and along with the guys, have been using an amazing app called Blinkist. It's an app that condenses the best info and insights from thousands and thousands of books, especially nonfiction books, into 15 minute reads. With so many books in the world, I love the fact that I can just skim through the most important parts of these books and then decide whether I actually want to read the full book or move on to the next one. We partnered up with them on this video. So the first 100 people that signed up to the link below are gonna be able to try out Blinkist for free for one week, one week trial. So make sure to sign up. If you're a big reader like me, click the link below and try it out. What's amazing also is that if you don't even like reading, you can just listen to it as well. I'm gonna leave my three book recommendations under the link below so you guys can get a head start. And thank you again so much for watching. We love you guys and see you next Sunday. Much love. Thank you.